do do. So I'm just here uh, editing Fort Independence or the castle. Um, I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of what I did, and then I'm gonna get into something that helped me a lot. Um, actually, have the materials to do this. So I basically rebuilt Fort Independence. Um, this is just the beginning. I rebuilt sort of the walls, and I think I did a pretty damn good job of it. I've seen. Other people do the same thing, and uh, it's a little shitty fortification down there for now. But um, I've seen other people do the same, and they haven't been able to get quite as nice corners, or they haven't used the right materials. Uh, I've used the concrete blocks, of course. It's just, I think I'm honestly just going to delete this. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, eh. But as you can see, like I have the concrete blocks going into the ground. Um, they are a key piece, and you have to learn how to snap them together and move them as one piece. And to do that, if you're on Xbox, hold down the A button. I'm not sure what it is on the other uh, PS4 or the computer, so look it up. Definitely look up how to do this, because there is no tutorial. Which kind of sucks, but at the same time, uh, it's easy to look up. And it really helps when you're building... Uh, Kind of how to create in areas that normally wouldn't let you put pieces so i was able to put those concrete blocks straight through the wall the existing wall which normally it wouldn't let me because i would snap them all together as one big piece and sort of um you know place it as a as a length rather than a single block at a time and uh i find that it kind of gets rid of the, I don't know what you would call that, the the physics portion of it, that you can't insert an object into something that's already existing. Um, you can put it as close as you possibly can, and I know when you build fences, it sucks because you can't put them together sometimes, and you get this side by side with these little gaps in between when you create corners. This way it gets rid of all of that, so... Let's go inside here, um, now that I'm done explaining stuff. But yeah, so I think I did an okay job here. Might redo it, but it's pretty center anyway. And this is the part that I've seen people unable to do, which is this corner. And it is clean. Like, it is a perfect corner. It matches completely perfectly with how it would have been built before it got destroyed. So, you know, there's these little pieces here that kind of go through the wall. But like I said, normally you're not supposed to be able to do that, but... You know, you just play with it enough and you learn the little tricks and it all, uh, all starts to come together the way that you want it. So don't think that you can't build, you know, certain fortifications or walls. You just gotta learn how to do it, so. And as you can see, they're overlapping. So this is what I'm talking about. Normally you wouldn't be able to overlap two objects that you built like that. So it's not as pretty as it could be up top, but on the sides, it's clean. Blocks it off from any raiders, and I've made it so that there's only one entrance. I don't know if you saw at the beginning of the video, I blocked off the uh, the back entrance. And that is the spawn point, so if you do do that, you have to go in and create a new spawn point somewhere else inside of the fort. At least it's not raining. I'm proud to call you a friend. Thank you, Preston. You're a pretty, pretty swell guy. Yeah, so the inside I haven't done too much. Um, I have some generators in here. It's going to take up a lot of building space just rebuilding the fort. I hate how there's a limit on how much you can do in an area. Because this stuff, like I did this and I realized that I'm almost at the limit for, for building for this area. So I'm probably just going to delete a lot of this. Because I still have to build fortifications as far as uh, defenses go. But yeah, you know, I just redid his little... I don't know what you'd call that, general quarters, and... But yeah. So far, so good. Turn that off. Um... So yeah, that right there is the spawn point that I've changed it to. It's just a little welcome mat. You can put it anywhere you want. You can only put one, of course, otherwise you'd have multiple spawn points. I don't know why you'd want that. But, uh... Not too sure what else I'm going to do, but I thought I'd just show you guys that, so. And I'm going to get into a little glitch here, too, by the way, so. So, this is how I was able to get the materials to rebuild Fort Independence. Normally, you wouldn't be able 
to do so because concrete is a huge item for rebuilding it and it's kind of a rare item to find. You can get it from destroying concrete blocks or getting bags of uh, concrete. I guess that's what you would call it. I guess it's bags of cement. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so in order to get these items, I uh, read about something and I don't know if there's any videos about it Heads or uh, yeah. maybe there's a whole bunch that are coming up gotcha. now and then they'll end up Probably. patching this but just do it now before they patch it if you watch this that's all i'm saying um need something general even if you don't need it for the ammo no you can do it for just the materials that way you're not cheating the game as far as ammo you can get basically unlimited ammo bobby pins uh you can use it to gain caps as you can see i'm failing missions because i'm every time you do it you have to wait 48 hours for the market to kind of restock and uh all of these kind of, like, these missions are generic anyway. They're very small, and they're from Preston. They're the, they're the Minuteman missions. They're very repetitive, so don't even worry about failing those. We'll go here, and I'll show you how to how to get this started. You can literally buy anything from any merchant. So far, I've done this on almost every merchant I've come across to test it. So we're going to go ahead and buy everything except for ammo. Do not buy ammo. Take anything you need. If you don't need something, don't buy it. I take everything. Um, I basically have enough stock on bobby pins and, and stim packs right away. The most important things. And here is where you get all the supplies. I can build like 2,000 steel walls after doing this for a couple hours. So right then, you're going to want to buy one chunk of ammo and it might be different every time but I picked the 0 .308 rounds and you're gonna want to sell back one and then you're gonna sell back the rest you should be left with one ammo you're gonna want to click on that at least 20 to 30 times just click on it a whole bunch and then go back to her screen and start clicking on it again and you'll see it doubling so I'm gonna do it again hey, so you can get another look, but it'll start doubling and basically putting the amount that they owe you in the negative, or that you owe them in the negative. So it makes it so they owe you money and you're stealing all of their supplies. So you're basically walking up saying, give me all your stuff. And by the way, I know you owe me money, but I'll take the loss on this one. And I'll just take the $200 because of course they don't have the negative amount to give you which can be in the millions if depending on how many you know how many times you press it so so you go sell one and then we're gonna have this one ammo left after we sell the rest click it a whole bunch of times and then we're gonna want to click over to his and just start selling selling and we're gonna see a doubling 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 and that amount is gonna go into the plus for us and negative for him after that you can buy the rest of the ammo um, and then you can accept and then you now have all of the items that he just sold you for free. And you can break down the guns. I usually break down all the guns, all the uh, all of the armor. I break it all down for more materials. You're gonna get a lot of adhesive, which you need for upgrading your guns, which is really good. So this just makes it so you don't have to worry about things. You can build, create without limits, you know, having to say, okay, I'll build part of it now. And hours and hours and hours later into the game, I'll come back after I have more material. You're going to be overburdened or encumbered, so you're going to want to... <laughs> my guy's naked. If you didn't notice, because I can carry 310 weight. Um, you can use power armor to up it. I think mine was up to 390 with power armor, or 360, and uh, it's up to you. Usually after two or three merchants, you're going to be pretty full up. I give all the ammo back to Preston so that when you rebuy, you're not mixing in ammo you already have with the ammo that you're trying to basically glitch. So, yeah, if you found this helpful, leave a like, subscribe, and any comments, I'll, I'll give you an answer. So, 